Hello everyone, welcome again to class 12th Informatics Practices Chapter 2 that is Python Pandas In continuation with the previous video Today we will start with creating histogram using matplot library So let's start this What is this histogram? A histogram is a great tool for quickly assessing the profitability distribution that is automatically understood by almost any audience. A histogram is basically used to represent a data provided in the form of some groups. It is an accurate method for the graphical representation of numerical data distribution. It is a type of bar graph where x axis represent the bean ranges while the y axis gives information about frequency. You can see this diagram this is a histogram representing the probability in a graphical form now let's see how to create a histogram in python using matplot library there are certain steps so we may apply the following steps to plot a histogram in python using matplot library step number 1 is install the matplotlib package to install the matplot package, we can use the following command that is pip install matplotlib. Step number two that is collect the data for the histogram. For example, let's say that we have the following data about the age of 50 individuals like this. So these are the ages of the 50 individual. So this is the data and upon which a histogram will be created. Now step number three is determine the number of bins. This is an important term that is determine the number of bins to be used for the histogram. For simplicity, let's set the number of bin to 10. Step number four that is plot the histogram in a python using matplotlib. So we will now be able to plot the histogram based on the following templates. Let's see this template. Import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. So here, this is a mat matplot library, and this is a plt. This is the object of pyplot. And next thing we have to collect the data. This is the data in the in the variable x in the form of list. Now after that we will use one function that is a hist function hist hist function and we will pass the argument that is first argument is the data and second is the bin and after that we can show the uh, pi plot. Let's understand with the example example with the complete python code after applying the this above template. So you can see this code in this code in first step we have imported the matplot library that is matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and second line you can see x x is equal to all the data are there that is the ages of the 50 individuals now after that plt dot hist hist is a uh, function that is used to create histogram and in this hist we have given uh, x that is data and second argument as bins bins we have taken as 10 now pi plot that is plt dot show now let's see the output you can see the output here the ages of 50 individuals has been represented with a graphical representation this is called histogram and this histogram is uh, created in a python through one library that is matplot library let's see more about creating a histogram to create a histogram, the first step is to create a bin of ranges. Then distribute the whole range of values into the series of individuals and count the values which falls into each of the intervals. Bins are clearly identified as consecutive non-overlapping intervals of variables. The matplotlib.pyplot.his function is used to compute and create the histogram of x 
The following table shows the parameters accepted by uh, matplotlib.pyplot.list function. So you can see here, this is a, a list of parameters. So there can be a x that we have used, bins that is also used. Then there is a density, range, his type, a line, width, width, then bottom, r width, then co color, label, and log. These are different types of attributes that can be used with hist function. But out of this, x is a very important that is always essential, and others are optional. And this bottom, this is the default, automatically it will come at the bottom only, that is the location of the baseline of each bean. So that is default, it always takes the default only. But list are all optional, that is beans, that is a parameter contains the integer or the sequence string. Then this is a density, density that parameter contains the boolean value. Then similarly range, that represents the upper and lower range of beans. Then his type. Is used to create the type of histogram, either it may be a bar, either it may be a bar stack, a steps, or a step field. So we can create any type of histogram. Next attribute is the align attribute. So we can align the uh, graph either left, right, or mid. Next is width. Width is uh, this parameter contains the array of the weight having the same dimension as x. Then this is the bottom that I told you that is the location of the baseline of each bean. Then R width, R width uh, is a parameter which is relative width of the bar with respect to the bin width. Then is color, that is used to set the color or the sequence of the color spaces. Now next is the label, and this parameter is a string or a sequence of a string to match with a multiple data set. And the last parameter is log. This is also an optional parameter that is used to set the histogram axis on the log scale. So, uh, this way, these are used at the different planes according to the requirements. So, but these all are not in our syllabus. Though basically, we can use for the general normal uh, users, we can use the x. Uh, bottom is the default pick. x and bins attributes are essentially used. Next, we will see. Creating a histogram with a, another example. Let's create another simple histogram of some random values. Let's see this code from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. This is also a way to import matplot library. So this is another way to import the matplot library. Now here we I have used uh, one more uh, library that is numpy library to create an array import numpy as np then after that creating a data set so a, a is a, uh, like a data a is equals to mp a is equals to np dot array in an array i have stored some values so 22 87 5 43 56 like this some values are been stored now i have to create a histogram of these values so creating a histogram so there is a one i want to uh, resize the graph size so there is a one uh, variable I have taken that is fig and another variable ax that is the axis is equals to uh, pyplot dot subplot and in the bracket I can give the size that is fig size is equals to 10 comma 7 that is the dimension of the uh, graph will be 10 is to 7 then a ax dot hist now I have to plot this x that is this dimension over this dimension I have to plot the graph. So x dot is in a bracket I have given the two parameters you can see here. The first parameter is uh, my data that is array and second is the bins and here the bins value I have given already that is uh, initially I have in the first example there was a fixed and now it is a list of values are there that is 0, 25, 50, 75, 100 and after that I will show the uh, by plot plt plt dot show now let's see the output so you can see this is the graphical representation of this uh, numpy array so you can see here the pi plots are you can see here the graphical representation are, the beans are 0 25 so 0 to up to 25 it is 25 is here this is 25 now from 25 to 50 you can see here this is 
50. You can see this is 50. Now similarly 75. That is after 50, 75. So you can see next vertical line is here that is 75. Now after 75, next is 100. You can see like this. So this is the bins that is the bottom lines. Uh, and the bottom points are called uh, bins. And these are the values. So I hope you you have got the idea how to create a uh, histogram in uh, Python. So this is a basic uh, about the histogram you, and through this video you have got an idea how to create a histogram. So now what you have to do is uh, watch the video again and take the example uh, like uh, what I have shown here and do the practical so that you can get the concept clear. So next video uh, I will show some more about the histogram and other topic. So till then stay home stay safe. Thank you.